Hey guys, this is going to be a quick video to show you how to move apps across instances using the brand new git import feature. So right here, I have this movie admin panel app I'm working on and this was actually built on the AppSmith Cloud instance and what I want to do is move this to my own private self-hosted instance and share this with my production users. So to actually move the application over to my self-hosted instance, there are a couple of ways to do this. First is using the app export feature, which actually downloads a JSON file of the app. And then I can go over to the remote instance to um, import from the JSON file. But one issue with this is that in certain situations, I might not have access to the exported JSON file on the instance I want to set up. So a better solution would be to connect the application to Git and then use the Git import feature on my self-hosted instance. So I'm just going to close this up and let's head back to the application and connect the application to Git. So I'm just going to connect my application to Git and let's go create a repo for this. So I'm going to head over to my GitHub account. And by the way, don't forget to hit the follow button when you get here. So let's go to repositories and I'm going to create a new repository for the MongoDB admin panel application you saw here or the movie admin panel. So let's call this movie admin panel. All right, and I'm just going to go ahead to create the repository. And here we have the SSH URL, so I'll copy it over, head over to my instance, paste it in right here, generate a key, and this is the deploy key. So I can copy this over, head back to the app settings or the project settings, go down to where it says deployments or deploy keys right here, and I can add a new deploy key. So I'm going to call this AppSmith and paste in the deploy key and make sure I allow write access. So I can allow this, add the key, and this looks good. So I can go ahead to connect the application to my Git repository right here. And right now, this is done, um, as you can see. And if I head back to the repo, go to the code section, you can see that we have the application synced with Git right now. Then the next thing I need to do is head over to the destination instance and go to import the application using Git. So I'm going to import from Git. I have to do the same thing here. I'm going to go ahead to paste in the SSH URL. So I'm going to paste this in right here, generate a key, copy the deploy key, head back to the repo, go to the settings tab, go to the deploy keys right here and go add a new deploy key. So I'm just going to call this AppSmith2. All right, I'm going to paste in the deploy key, click on allow write access and add the key and then we're done. So I can go ahead to import the application and it's going to import the application from Git. And as you can see, I need to fix the database connection because database credentials are actually not stored in Git. So let's go to um, re-establish the connection. I'm going to be using the string URI and pasting it in right here. All right, let's test this right now. And this is a valid data source. So I can go ahead to save this. And here you can see that the application has been imported using Git. So I can go ahead to make edits, create branches and do all of that stuff. And it's going to be synced to the remote Git repository across both my self-hosted instance and also the cloud instance, which was already set up. So this is how to use the Git import feature. I hope you found this helpful. Please don't forget to get subscribed and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.